Hello, in this session, I am going to cover vertex cover approximation using linear programming and LP rounding algorithm. Uh, we define what is a linear programming problem first. A linear programming or, or problem or is a minimization or maximization problem where we are asked to minimize or a given or maximize or given linear function subject to one or more linear inequality constraints. The linear function is also called uh, the objective functions. So in optimization problem, uh, we have a linear objective function under uh, linear constraints, right? Uh, so for example, here uh, we have two variables x1 and x2. We have two uh, linear constraints on uh, these uh, two x1 plus uh, x2 less than or equal to 4 that is uh, shown here in green line, right? So constraints means uh, we are interested in the area below the green line. Similarly, the second constraint 3x1 plus 4x2 less than or equal to 12. That is uh, shown via pink line and we are interested in the area below the pink line. So, uh, when you want to uh, simultaneously satisfy both the constraints, the set of points which simultaneously satisfies the region, the common region below these two green and pink lines. Suppose uh, we want to uh, maximize this objective function x1 plus x2. Uh, consider the red line uh, which is passing through that origin uh, sh showing x1 plus x2 is equal to 0. So as you move it up, if you are moving that red line up as in the second figure, so we get uh, higher values of x1 plus x2, right? Uh, but we know that optimal solutions are always at the boundary and optimization function is uh, uh, linear. And there is always a corner point which is opt optimal. So now we are moving uh, to a slight variation of linear programming problem uh, which is called um, integer linear programming problem. It's just like linear programming, uh, linear constraints, linear objective functions, etc. are there. But in addition, you could have constraints like, uh, like some of the variables or uh, all the variables must be integrated. So only uh, it allows only integral values. So there will not be any region like less than or greater than uh, zero or less than or equal to one. Only some uh, values like zero or one. So here in uh, in in below in the in the last uh, line we can say uh, the uh, constraints like subject to here we have x u plus x v greater than or equal to 1 where x v is in 0 comma 1 that's how the integer programming uh, refers now we will see some uh, uh, our three kinds of algorithms for uh, linear programming so we have linear programming algorithms like simplex method which is efficient in um, practice uh, second one ellipsoid method which is uh, in polynomial time and the third one is interior uh, part method which is uh, both efficient in practice as well as in uh, which is in polynomial time uh, but when you are moving to the integer pro linear programming uh, solving such integer pro linear programming is np hard so uh, we don't expect any efficient algorithm for uh, this ip so uh, what we uh, said that linear programming is talking about continuous feasible space, right? Uh, uh, that is your solution is a continuous space. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, moreover, it is a convex region, not a specific uh, uh, integer value. It will be like uh, less than uh, or greater than z or equal to zero or likewise or in between zero and one and likewise some regions we have in uh, LP but in uh, IP we have it uh, like uh, specific regions like zero or comma one. Uh, even the LP is in uh, uh, convex region so we could uh, still we could apply uh, it for some discrete problems. So uh, 
uh, we saw some example like here uh, we here we here we have some example uh, see here we have uh, a graph g of v comma e uh, with uh, weight w i on vertices uh, so uh, we have one way to express this problem as an integer linear program so uh, you could have uh, one variable for each vertex uh, and uh, variable belongs to 0 or 1 right so it's co it's it could be either um, 0 or 1 so naturally um, uh, this one will be indicating that you are going to choose that vertex um, uh, or 0 means uh, you are not going to choose that vertex as a part of your uh, vertex cover uh, when you have uh, this constraint for every edge so uh, what do we want uh, in vertex cover for every edge we want at least one of the endpoints so uh, that we express in uh, linear const as, a, as a linear constraint x u plus x v greater than or equal to uh, 1 so um, this we need to uh, put for every edge uh, our objective function is naturally somewhere all the vertices and we uh, take sum of uh, w v x v right since it is in uh, 0 comma 1 it is clearly a summation over all those vertices uh, which are chosen to uh, or as a part of the vertex cover and we simply adding the weight right so in this integer linear program the optimal value will be exactly the weight of minimum uh, weight vertex cover uh, but uh, ilp integer linear program as we know is uh, nb hard so uh, no hope for uh, uh, that one since we don't have any algorithm for uh, this uh, um, uh, integer linear programming uh, we have some algorithms in lp so we will for what we are going here is to do some uh, or get some optimal solutions for uh, using the uh, using our available lp and converting it into ip that's what, what we are going uh, in our approximation algorithm so we uh, now we are uh, trying to convert it okay then uh, into linear program uh, it's easy to convert so uh, one of the constraint is all uh, because it is one of the constraint is linear right and the objective function also linear but the only problem is in in, in the condition that each variable uh, is either 0 or 1 so we can replace it with a linear constraint uh, like xv uh, should be between 0 or 1 that is what we are going to see here see uh, our aim is uh, to convert the constraints xv between 0 and 1 so now xv can be any real value between 0 and 1 so it is um, indeed a linear program so now we will uh, get confused uh, for vertex cover that the optimal solution might be uh, a fractional number right uh, so uh, using this lp uh, or uh, when you are using this lp we are having some region over here between 0 and 1 that means uh, uh, the the solution may be a fractional one so that's why we want uh, a rounding uh, function here uh, to convert it into ip so uh, let's let's see some uh, concrete uh, example for this one uh, see here here we have five variables between 0 and 1 and we have uh, six edge constraints uh, as shown in this uh, slide so uh, suppose all edge weights are 1 then our objective function is minimize x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 uh, so what we saw that um, in minimum vertex cover in this graph is you, you need uh, three vertices at least and since all weights are uh, one you can say that minimum weight of our vertex cover is three uh, but on the other hand uh, if you see the linear program the optimal value will be 2.5 uh, that will satisfy all the constraints so that is clearly feasible solution 
So, linear program can help us uh, in designing of uh, approximation algorithm for minimum weight uh, vertex cover problem by converting it into uh, uh, rounding it and convert uh, converting it into uh, like um, uh, uh, an IP. So, uh, we can see some outline here, an algorithm outline. Uh, as our first step, we can, what you have to do is find an optimal solution X star for the LP, for the linear programming. Uh, that is, uh, use any standard linear programming algorithm and find an optimal solution for that LP. So, uh, let's say that optimal solution is X star. X star might have... Uh, uh, fractional coordinates so it might not relate to any vertex cover right since it is fractional so uh, what we plan to do uh, note is uh, we are going to uh, do some kind of rounding on the coordinates of x star so second step is that one uh, apply rounding on x star to obtain an integral solution uh, I think uh, we after uh, I hope that after the rounding we can convert it into an integral solution and uh, it will correspond to a vertex cover, right? So what we need is to design on, uh, our uh, rounding uh, scheme carefully. So for convenience, we can uh, see one graph or or, or figure here. Uh, there are some uh, boundaries uh, uh, given here inside the boundaries all the points inside the boundaries are feasible regions or the feasible regions are bounded uh, but you know that the optimal solution is in the boundary so what we are going to do is we are we have to shift this optimal into uh, uh, or optimal solution into the uh, inside the uh, boundary so uh, it will become an integral so uh, when you when you are doing uh, boundary uh, or uh, or rounding in the boundary uh, something have to uh, keep in mind or uh, actually uh, rounding is typically used in context of zero one optimization problem uh, rounding the lp solution uh, is uh, just is to get an integral solution uh, actually, rounding refers to the scheme or algorithm that converts a fractional solution obtained from the LP into an integer solution. So, uh, before moving into the methods of rounding, you have to first formulate the problem as uh, IP. IP means uh, it should be 0, 1, like we said, or in, uh, we, we, we should eliminate the or greater than symbol or uh, or uh, such regions so we have to convert it to integral or integer values uh, then we will introduce some boolean vari variables xi uh, for every vertex uh, which is i belongs to n such that xi is equal to 1 if i is i belongs to s and uh, 0 otherwise Similarly, we introduce another Boolean variable eij. eij for every word edge i comma j belongs to that um, domain e, the edge domain, such that eij is equal to one if edge i comma j is covered. So, uh, what we are doing uh, here is to make it into integral. Uh, all covered vertices, uh, vertices or all covered edges are considered as one. Otherwise, it is it will be considered as zero. Like it is it is converted. So that's all about topic for listening me. Thank you so much.